Hello there guys, so today I am taking a look at the Synology DS216 Plus II and I thought I'd do a little bit of a video on it because I've had this for a while, this Synology unit and today I'm just giving it a clean up because um, it's like probably full of dust but also um, I'm doing a RAM upgrade um, and the reason that I wanted to talk about this is because this model you can get for really cheap, even though it's quite old now, it's like almost nine years old. Um, it's, I think it's still a really good unit to have and I still, I'm still using it. And I've, I've considered upgrading to like a newer NAS and every time that I've looked into it, I've always ended up just settling with this one still. Um, and just, you know, realizing that it's not really worth it for me anyway. And I wanted to sort of talk about it in this video. So the Synology DS216 Plus II was released in 2016 and it's obviously, as you can see, it's a two-bay device. Um, I've got uh, a WD Red 1TB and a, uh, a Seagate Ironwolf 1TB. It's always good to mix your drive brands and models just in case like a manufacturing defect um so yeah so um it has an intel cpu um it's like a celeron um which is fine in like a nas um uh, it's not the most powerful cpu in the world like absolutely not but it does the job um and because it's an intel cpu it means you can run docker it means you can run um quite a few things um and the great thing about this model is that it has, unofficially, it has upgradable RAM. Um, it comes with one gigabyte by default, um, and you can upgrade it to a maximum of eight gigabytes, which is pretty impressive considering that a lot of the models sold, even today, like obviously the two bay models sold today, don't have eight gigabytes. Um, obviously some of the higher end models do, and like the ones that we can with seven do, um, can do if you upgrade them, but the lower end models certainly don't. Even like the four bay models, like the DS4, uh, the entry level four bay model, I think that only has like one gigabyte of RAM even today, um, which, and you can't upgrade that one. So it's like, you know, it's, you could potentially get a real bargain with this device, I think. Like if, like, I think I got this for like, not much money. Like, I think it was like around a hundred pounds or something. Um, and it's just a really good NAS to use. And like I've had, um, so I've had lots of different NASs. I've had, I've had a DS218 Play, I think it was. Um, I've had HP Micro Server. I've had Dell servers. I've had custom built servers um, as NASs. I've had HP Mini Micros. Uh, sorry, no, not HP. It was Lenovo, Lenovo Tinies as as my NAS as well, which was a weird one. Um, but it's still pretty cool. I, I used that for quite some time, um, and I'm on. I've been on this for quite some time now, and I just yeah, I like it. It's good, um, even though it's not. It doesn't come with that sort of Linux experience that you you know you're you've got DSM instead. Um, but sometimes that saves you time and hassle, and it's kind of good. Like yeah, it's good having a HP microserver as well. But sometimes. I think for me, the HP Mic server was, I don't know, I did like the HP Mic server actually. I had two different HP Mic servers. I had the Gen, uh, the most popular one, which was the Gen 7, I think it was, and the Gen 9, I think it was. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so this, this comes with obviously two bays and it has the USB uh, 3 point something port on the front, the copy button. Um, that comes with a lot of the Synology devices. Um, and it has two uh, USB ports on the back with um, uh, Gigabit LAN and eSATA and then obviously your power um, cord. Um, it comes with uh, stuff like surveillance station and whatnot, so all that stuff is... Uh, it, it comes with BTRF as well, BTRF, uh, BTRFS as well which is um, is why another reason why I'm happy to go with it still, because even though it's quite old now, it supports a lot of the things that you need. Like it's Intel CPU, BTRFS, 
like all that kind of stuff for like less than, you can get it for less than 150 pounds, I know that. Um, to me, that's like a pretty good deal in like a unit like this, low power um, and, you know, DSM, or surveillance station, all that stuff. Uh, I use one CCTV camera with it um, at the moment. It's like 2K uh, video. Um, and I use Docker with it. I have a few containers. Um, originally it had one gigabyte of RAM, um, but I upgraded it to four gigabytes. It's got four gigabytes right now. And today I'm upgrading it to eight gigabytes. Um, now I don't really need to upgrade it to eight gigabytes, but I got the RAM module for like a few pounds. It was really cheap. So I figured I might as well, because the four gigs is like, it's not used, but it's f like, it's obviously like, it is cached, like, so it's going to cache. And because you're using BTRFS, it's like, I think it's always good to um, have higher RAM on BTRFS. Like, I don't know how much it will improve performance, but it's just a good idea, especially when you're like, you've got like multiple Docker containers and things. And even though the CPU is not really, um, it's not really that powerful, I, CPU, I don't think it's the bottleneck really. I think that the RAM and the storage speed is still the bottleneck, in my opinion. For what I do anyway, mostly. It depends. Sometimes you really do want more CPU, but for like day-to-day -day operation, it's fine. So I'm gonna take it open, I'm gonna rip it open and show you how to upgrade these things because it's not an actual official, officially supported. You have to like avoid the warranty. So by the way, if you do do it, it'll avoid the warranty. Okay, so. First of all, you have to remove these four screws along where the fan is. screwed the screw next to the Kensington block. Now you have to um, gently peel back, there's like some retaining clips here. Oh, wrong side. There's some retaining clips there that you have to sort of push back and then you have to slide the um, one side of it. It's been a while since I've actually done this, so I can't quite remember. Okay, so you have to like push that that way and then slide it at the same time, slide it like that way to the back. There we go. There we go. 
go. And you're good to go. So now that that's all put back together again, um, and the RAM upgrade's done, um, I had a little trouble opening the, um, sliding the um, casing back, but um, it's all done now. So I'll go and plug this in and show you the results. Okay, so I'm back on the Synology. I've booted up, all is well, everything seems to be working. Um, so taking a look at the resource monitor, uh, the eight gigs is registered and I'm using 19% now and I've got plenty of room for caching. Um, so yeah, I'd highly recommend um, upgrading the RAM on these units. If you're going from the base one gig to either four, four gigabytes is fine. I upgraded to four gigabytes originally, but I just wanted to finally max it out because um, I had a four gig stick lying around before and I just wanted to finally upgrade to eight. Didn't necessarily need to do it. Four gigs is actually pretty, is pretty fine to be honest with one of these. Um, it's still way better than one gigabyte. But you definitely will, if you're running Docker, you definitely want to upgrade um, the RAM. Like if you're running like Synology um, Surveillance Station uh, or, or slash and um, Docker um, or like media, transcoding and like um, you know if you're running stuff like Plex or the other sort of uh, Plex sort of alternatives um, then definitely upgrade the RAM on these things um, it's well worth it it literally costs just a few pounds it's literally like less than 10 pounds to upgrade the RAM and you can get these units for these uh, DS216s for you know around a hundred pounds like I'd aim for a hundred pounds um, or slightly more with uh, if you get them with discs and like you see on eBay like this one's already upgraded this one's got like eight gigs of RAM it's already upgraded and two drives uh, for 180 pounds which for two terabyte drives with this and the full RAM I think that's pretty good to be fair so yeah I definitely recommend these units um, if you compare it to like the uh, the DS um, the the two bay models. Um, like the the white sort of value models um, with the non-upgradable RAM, you know, and even the, the sort of play models. Um, this is still such a like a way better deal. Like I'd much rather have this older model, even though this is nine years old. I'd still way rather have this than some of the latest models, even from this year. I'd still rather have this model um, compared to some of the newer models. Um, it's just crazy like it's just yeah it's just yeah it's good so um, yeah if you've got any questions feel free to ask um, and I hope you enjoyed the video um, feel free to give it a thumbs up um, and a like and I'll see you in the next one